And good evening. We're getting into our weather forecast now, which is including a lot of heat. No surprise. We're pretty used to that at this point after Ida. And then we do have that area that we're watching in the Gulf that will likely it looks like be mainly a rainmaker along the Gulf Coast. Rain, by the way, is probably going to return tomorrow. In fact, even today we had some scattered showers and storms. In fact, a big downpour over Homa. Not that Homa needed a lot of rain at this point, but we will kind of transition into a bit more scattered activity as far as the rain goes Tuesday through Thursday and we'll have to watch in case of maybe a flooding threat at the middle point of the week as we get that surge of tropical moisture from Invest 91. So talking about the heat very quickly today we made it into the lower 90s. Here are current temperatures ranging a little bit depending on whether you've had one of those downpours or not. Look at this dew points have increased into the 70s after being a bit lower over the past couple of days thanks to that low uh, weak front that moved in. And now we're looking at our feels like temperatures again ranging a little bit but up to about 100. So this is not a surprise for us. We know it's been hot and humid at this point in the year. Generally heat index values tomorrow could be up to 105. And so for tomorrow 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're used to this now. We don't have power and so the National Weather Service is issuing these heat advisories just to remind you once again it's going to be hot and humid you need to think about taking your precautions like I know you've been doing taking breaks if you're working outside trying to stay cool although we don't have much air conditioning to escape into and staying hydrated here is that downpour around the Hammond area you can see that kind of just gently drifting off to the south also a little southward moving shower or storm right there around parts of Plaquemines Parish moving through the evening our temperatures drop through the 80s and overnight looks pretty dry. Most of our activity today and tomorrow will be sort of diurnally driven with the heating of the day, meaning mostly afternoon or early evening storms and then quieting down for the overnight hours. And then tomorrow highs about 91 perhaps, but we do have a little higher chance for rain still feeling hot and humid with those winds from the west and southwest. Let me show you our precision cast and then we'll get into what's happening in the tropics in a second. But this is uh, tonight. You can see mostly quiet, maybe a stray shower or storm this evening. Fast forwarding into tomorrow in the afternoon, 2 p.m., some showers and storms. And here's yet another little front. So again, kind of a nice thing to see these fronts starting to at least approach our area. Although you see this one is going to sort of fizzle over us. Tuesday, this is Tuesday morning, some scattered rain in the area, and then we'll fast forward through the day 3 p.m. You can see our rain chance maybe about 60% and we'll have to watch for a few downpours. And then this is Wednesday morning, the scattered rain once again here because of that surge of moisture, which interestingly today we're starting to see everything a little in flux with that surge of moisture associated with what we talked about earlier in Vest 91. But it's kind of interesting to see some of that moisture may stay just removed from our area. So although I would certainly let you know we're going to have at least a few downpours around mainly Tuesday and Wednesday, there is a chance that we could see some of the very heaviest rain staying just off to the east, perhaps still tentative because we haven't seen it develop and we haven't really gotten a good handle on what's going to happen just yet, at least a certainty. But just wanted to kind of point that out. We are anticipating rain. Hopefully we can keep some of the that deepest moisture just off to the east. But here's our tropical outlook. And of course, this is the one we're really worried about. Larry is a major hurricane just churning over the open Atlantic. And hopefully it looks like stays even east of Bermuda and using a lot of energy there. So we talk about ACE accumulated cyclone energy and that number increases with each of these storms taking into account not only whether the storm happened, but how intense it got and how long it lasts. And Larry is one of these that will probably end up accounting for a lot of the ACE, the accumulated energy that we have uh, so far this year for sure. And then this is, of course, the one that we're sort of watching and you may be seeing now. The chance of development has not increased. Still a pretty low chance of organizing into a depression or tropical storm Mindy, but as of today, the models are really showing not much development at all. It's kind of looking more and more like this is just going to be a system that kind of gets into the southern Gulf, surges off to the northeast, brings some rain to the Gulf Coast, but encounters not only the dry air in all the tan colors here, but also the wind shear that we've talked about with these bright colors, partially due to a trough of low pressure that might kind of be responsible for keeping some of the moisture to the east. So just watching what's going to happen, here's the GFS model, and we're not seeing that classic 
circular shape, the really organized sort of tropical storm or hurricane shape, just kind of a big slug of moisture for the Gulf Coast. Now, of course, we don't need that. We have damage to buildings. We have damage to roofs. Some people haven't gotten tarps on top of their roofs yet, so not the greatest forecast, but it does look like by the end of the week, we will have another front sliding through, and that one is going to bring actually our humidity down and dry us out, maybe even as early as Thursday and then into Friday and the weekend too. So these are the main bullet points on Invest 91. Facing some obstacles in the Gulf, still bringing rain, and we'll have to keep an eye on that and look at how much rain, but it does look like a little higher chance Tuesday and Wednesday, and then look at this rain chance just dropping off at the end of the week because we're going to see that drier air move in. And again, it's a positive thing to see these fronts getting closer and cl closer, and in this case, even bringing our humidity and our temperatures down just a touch Again, mostly into Thursday and Friday starting and then into the weekend too. And as we move into September and eventually October, we're going to see more of these fronts, which will be a good thing to help shield us from at least some of these tropical threats.